guys. I'm sitting there eating chips at the gas station while Travis is getting chips or something. I don't know. But we decided to leave Pine Ridge. Uh, we were on some turkeys, but we couldn't get them off a of private. And we just figured our options were better at another location that we had in mind. So we packed up camp, loaded up the tent, and we headed to a lo different location. We got birds gobbling. Our bird was not in the same location that he was when we left him. But we got some more down this creek, so we just trying to ease down this creek and get closer to these birds. I think there's multiple gobblers. So we trying to get down here and get set up. It's still as a mouse this morning, so we gotta be as quiet as we can. Seems like it's getting closer. I wouldn't be here about one more time to be sure you're still in the same place.
The problem is, is it kind of turns, and it kept, I kept saying, he's in the woods, and he's coming. These hands have come by. Yeah. He's coming. But guess what? He was. <laughs> is he lighter than the other one I killed, or is it just the sun shining through? I think it's still pretty dark.
it's about 9.30. We've been on this boat, this bird, since a little bit after daylight. And uh, he's, he's not wanting to come in, he's calling. We seen a, is that a hen or a jake with him? Yeah. We seen a hen with him earlier. But he, and he got him real, real close, but he would, just wouldn't come up on the ridge where we were at. And uh, he's just working around these ridges, just gobbling, just gobbling his head off like a deranged lunatic. So uh, we're thinking he's just gobbling, trying to get hens to come to him. He's not coming to, coming to any calls or any hens. So we're just still trying to work him, still trying to get on him. But uh, that's our status right now. It's the first morning in Missouri. We didn't get here in time last night to roost anything, so we just kind of came in blind this morning. But we're just going to work this bird a little while and see what happens. Uh, we never could get on the bird. The, the wind kind of picked up, made it hard to hear. And we were up next to some private, and uh, I guess the landowner came in on a four-wheeler. And that messed the bird up too, so... We're going to try to get, probably come back in here this evening and roost one or someplace. And uh, maybe we'll have a little bit better luck tomorrow. Well, we roosted a bird last night. And uh, I came in here and got on <coughs> one ridge over from where he was roosting. And Travis got on the other ridge. But he never gobbled this morning. I haven't heard one bird gobble. It was so far. I don't even know for sure if it was a gobble, to be honest with you. It was so faint. Wind's blowing pretty good this morning, so. I'm just going to truck on a little bit, see if I can locate one. We kind of split up trying to improve our odds since we're so short on time. I'm just going to ease through here and Maybe I can get on one. It is nine o'clock. I have not heard a turkey or seen a turkey. Travis has been on one. Chasing him around. He said he'd come this way, but I haven't run into him. Can't hear nothing. The wind is blowing so hard. I did see one other guy. I don't know if that guy maybe bumped him out of the area or what. We crossed paths, but I'm fixing to head to the truck. Uh, Travis finally lost the one that was in here. Every turkey we've been on up here, you call him and he just, shoom, he's gone. I don't know if they're just pressure or what. But, uh, I'm going to head to the truck, meet up with him. I'm not sure if we're going to get into anything else today or not. It's April 23rd. This is our second day here. And uh, we've been on turkey since we got here, but we just had not had any luck. So this is our second day, evening. We're going to walk in here and try to roost these birds we've been on the last couple of days, couple of mornings. And uh, tomorrow morning there's a last hunt, and it's weather dependent. It's supposed to rain. It just depends on what the weather looks like when we wake up in the morning. But we're going to get in here and try to roost these, and hopefully get home in the morning and get lucky. Like I said, tomorrow morning is our last hunt in Missouri, so if we don't get it done in the morning, we ain't going to get it done. It was just that one turkey, and then we heard the one on the ridge, way up, way up top on the other side. This morning, there was two deer, and I, I'm not real sure about that one there. But 
Mr. Dave Gobbler by now. I did not hear one this morning, but I just heard one. I think Travis is on him. So I'm trying to pinpoint him, figure out if I want to get around on the other side. I just go in behind Travis and meet up with him. It's so windy, I can't hardly hear anything. I can't be too far. Sounded like he was about 300 yards away when I heard him gobble. Straight through there. I just heard him. I'm fixing to make a loop around. I'm gonna hit this road. I'm gonna go up this road. Sound like he's on the left side of this road. But it sounded like he was farther away than I heard him the first time. With this wind, I don't know, I can fool you. But maybe I can make up some time on this road. I'll just jog this road, try to get down to him. So he's hung up on a ridge over there. I guess he's been hung up on that ridge for a little while. We can just work him a little bit, see what he does, and then try to make a move. I think there's another one over here to our right too. This one's gobbling a lot, but he's not he's not playing right now. get on is the same thing. You can't get so close to them because the woods are so open. It's frustrating, I tell you that. He's just hung up over the gobble. He won't move. I can't get to him. Well, I tried to get in and sneak on him and I think he probably saw me. So, we got some rain coming in. We're about tired of fooling with them because everyone we get on, they just ain't having it. So I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be all we do in Missouri. We're going to load up, and head back to Louisiana, and go from there. I guess we had a good. We were on birds every day, so I wouldn't say we got a butt whip, but. We got our butt whipped. <laughs>